Hello guys, I've been uh, working on this tool on my laser time, which is a tool that will help us to create mullions uh, quickly. Of course, it doesn't fit for most of the projects because the projects are uh, the mullions are projected and we have to do that uh, based on the architect's drawings. But for us to quickly create buildings and spreading surroundings or things that requires mullion that wasn't designed to anyone, this tool is very helpful. Uh, because uh, this is a face, right? For me to add the the, the mullion here, I just need to go here to the modifiers and use the geometry nodes, geo mullions, and voila, that's it. That's pretty much uh, my mullion. Right, so we have two materials, uh, just in the nice it black, uh, aluminium and glass, right? And we also can apply a bevel here, so we can kind of chamfer a bit the borders, all right? And we have all these parameters which is related to the frames, okay? So, for example, if we need this frame exterior frame to be more offset we can go here right if we need the frames to be inside or outside okay uh, this th how thick the out frame is and you don't need to be worried about gl the glass because the glass is totally adjustable here in the glass offset so you always can bring your glass here all right and the frame 2 is this one which you can go offset here or there and you can go out here or there as well and you can go thick here and there as well and you always can go here and adjust your glass okay that's i'm still working on that so that's not perfect the idea is that you don't need to adjust your glass in any way but that's pretty much it all right for these guys and uh, i will show you how to modifier these if let's say you want to add one more row here what you can do is you can just copy right your face here oh I'm sorry you can oh okay just a second okay you can uh, because it was it was a little bit of it was a little bit rotated this mesh but you can kind of copy like this right or you can go here for example and just add another edge here and it will create automatically another another mullions and you can take this edge and slide here there okay and going let's say up and then you can go down copy here down, go up here okay it's very easy to create it's nothing it's nothing crazy okay and we have these other settings here which I'm still working on but I think what I did is uh, something cool right we can, we can turn the blinds on and off so we got the, the blinds going just like this right so not good but we have ways to fix this here so first thing I would go on uh, blinds fix Z 
and oh, I would go for the blinds cut off, right? I would turn it on so I would fix the blinds going out of the thing, and I would take these two meshes separate and go to this one and fix the Z of curtains, right? And the good thing is that as soon as you copy these blinds, they are kind of randomly, you know, uh, distributed. So if you have a bunch of windows, they will be all random, right? You can always turn them off. Blinds on and off. Right? Just like that. And the interiors. But interiors, I will sh be showing you in a, in just a, one real example of how we can use that. Okay? So, what I would do is I would first select those guys right select those guys and maybe not those maybe not those not those okay let me do these two guys here I will just try to apply my mullions here and see how it goes maybe it doesn't go as well as I expect I don't know because I'm still developing the tool it's not fun that is really really reliable at this moment but is something okay you can take this guy I would first separate the mesh this mesh I would separate okay let's put this guy inside the collection new collection building okay now we have this collection building here now we can we can go here again and let's do this okay and now on the top view we can just remove the corners on our equation okay that's it yes that's what we want yeah probably that's fine mm. okay let's do this let's copy this building here just in case because I want to try something else here okay so we got these buildings we go maybe inside something like this maybe and then we oops look at these guys here okay those guys doesn't go really well this way let's remove them from the equation because they are too too small let's do something else with them all right in this case for those here let's do like this separate okay and these guys here we may go like this we may go like this and we may separate them as well okay so we have these now we have these these and let's go random random these this and this okay let's apply here first we go to modifiers apply geometry nodes mullions oh my goodness all my face orientation is out so what we can do 
is we can select everything right and flip the faces okay so now we have our faces flipped just these two let's flip these two also all right now we have our mullions here and this guy let's apply a bevel modifier just to get better quality okay and here in this guy here we can just select both and press uh, Ctrl L and just copy the modifiers okay now we have our mullions here and here we will do the same copy modifiers okay let's see how it looks now okay not too bad right okay not too bad that's it that's pretty much it my friends and all the modifiers are uh, has it has its individual uh, it has its individual settings let's say you want to make this frame thicker right so you just go here and make it thicker right and we can see we have we can see we have our glass going on here so we just adjust the glass offset here now we have different look for those and maybe for these ones here we want thinner maybe right okay let's go like this right and then we may adjust the glass offset but before we adjust the glass offset let's do one more thick with the inside right something like this then we can adjust our glass okay something like this so we don't have all the mullions the same right they are kind of different right and okay let's try to apply the blinds let's pl try to put the blinds on on this one and see how it goes right it seems it goes pretty well let's try to put the interiors on okay okay right now there is nothing going on for these ones here let's put the blinds on and off or maybe it's let's see the blinds how it goes first and the interiors okay and for these ones let's do the same thing and the interiors okay all right but here you can see that here the interiors goes down and that's probably is not what we want okay in this case we have to fix that so interiors good enough just do this and that will be fixed okay and yeah in this case let's see how this building looks in our renders here we go so we have the mullions and we have some interiors going on this part I didn't work on this part of the building so doesn't really matter okay but you can see that these interiors here are more for far away so you see you can see that something go is going on but you don't really see what is that okay if we change it this guy and we if, if we put this guy down we can see more 
for the building okay and in this case here you see the building the the interiors are going out of the roof in this case maybe that's a big amount of windows maybe in this case that wouldn't work but let's try and see if the the interiors could off works I'm not quite sure if it will work as we expected let's see because we have a lot and there is a lot of bullions going on it works kind of it works a kind of for some of for some of for some of them it doesn't work as we expect it cut it off too much right that's what I say like it's not all the case that we works perfect depending on your building structure ideally you would kind of take this roof and put it a bit up so we would avoid this issue for this part that works well okay so this is the building all right all right let's try to scatter this building here on a just a regular geometry node and see how it goes just a new geometry node right let's cast uh, some uh, points distribute points on the face and we still join we still want to see the face we don't want the random we want poison disk and we don't want that much with a distance of with a good distance okay and um, right so and here we go instance on points uh, and then we bring our collection this is the collection of the building I will pick that as an instance and I will spread this building all over the place oh my goodness too many buildings let's make them more distant from each other Yeah, I'm still working on that, but I think that is a is a good way of us to create buildings easily, right? You can always go to your uh, mesh, your main main mesh. For example, let's remove the interiors. We don't have the interiors anymore. Go this one. Go this one. Interiors off. Here we go. Okay. 
that's it I will save in our library so we can use that and yeah I hope you like it